We're going to start by showing you guys a tool that you can use to calculate mass, the volume, and the density. And it's called the density triangle. And you can see by looking at these equations here on the right hand side that as long as we know two of these properties of matter, we can calculate the third. We have a way to find an equation to figure out the third value. Um, so let's look at our density triangle. You are going to want to memorize this or at least know how to lay it out, have it in your notes so that you can use it whenever you need to calculate density or find density mass or volume uh, in a problem or equation. So draw your triangle out, normal triangle, okay, and then you're going to take and draw one line horizontally through the middle of the triangle right here. From that line, you go to the center of that horizontal line and draw one vertical line straight down to the bottom. And in the top of the triangle, you are going to put an M. This is the marvelous density triangle, so you know that M always goes in the top of the triangle. Um, down in the bottom of the two chambers of the triangle, you're going to put a D and a V. Those stand for density and volume. Ma marvelous mass gets to sit up there at King on the top. Now this line that we drew horizontally across the middle, every time we cross this line we are going to be dividing. Anytime we're crossing that line we're going to be dividing. The vertical line that we drew right here to split up the bottom two chambers of our triangle is going to be a multiplication line and anytime we cross that line we're going to be multiplying. So let's look at how that works when we're actually trying to solve a problem for density, mass, or volume. This is going to be a review and the question or the problem is find the density of an object with a mass of 100 grams and a volume of 25 liters. And one quick thing you do when you're looking at these questions, any t you just look at the number and the units and I know that this is 100 grams and grams is a measurement of mass. So I know that this is my mass without reading anything else. You can say and the volume is 25 liters. I know that liters is a measurement of volume and without looking at anything else I would know that this is my volume measurement so I have mass and volume. This question states find the density so density is the one that I do not have. The one that you do not have and you're di out of density, mass and volume in your density triangle you'll want to cover up. We're going to do this in this video by putting an X over it if you just want to put your thumb over it uh, as you follow along that would be great. So we cover that one up and what that leads us with is the equation to find whichever one we're missing, in this case is density. So that leaves us with M over V or mass divided by volume. And you can see here I put together the equation is density equals mass divided by volume. And let's look at how that works when I show my work and lay that out in a problem. So showing my work I write density equals mass over volume or mass divided by volume. And that is equal to, in this question 100 grams over or divided by 25 liters and we know that we can divide 100 by 25 and get 4 and we know that we can't divide a G by an L we can't do it so those units stay represented in our answer as G over L and we have 4 grams per liter which literally means 4 grams in every liter of volume so let's see what that would look like when we're trying to calculate something we have not done yet. Take a look at this one is find the mass of an object with a density of 15 grams per milliliter and a volume of 5 milliliters. So the one we're looking for, find the mass. And it says we have a density of 15 grams per milliliter. And anytime we have units that are grams per milliliter or a mass per a volume, we know that that is a measurement of density. And we know we have a volume of 5 milliliters. We know that's volume because it's in milliliters. Find the mass. We do not have the mass, so we're going to cover that up in our triangle. And whatever we're left with is the equation to find that mass. In this case, we're crossing this vertical line. Anytime we do that, we're going to be multiplying. So mass equals density times volume. And let's see what that looks like when we show our work and do this equation. Mass equals density times volume and that is equal to 15 grams per milliliter density and 5 milliliters volume. We know that we can multiply our numbers 15 times 5 and that equals 75 and this problem is a little bit different now because we have 
a gram per milliliter unit and a milliliter unit which is different than what we've seen before. Um, so in this scenario because you have units here that match your units here we get to cancel these out when we multiply so we cancel out this milliliter we cancel out this milliliter and we just move the grams is all we have left to our answer so our answer comes out as 75 grams and let's double check ourselves 15 times 5 is 75 our answer is in grams and we were trying to solve for mass uh, grams is a unit of mass so we know that this should be a correct answer um, let's plug that in for the one we haven't calculated yet, which is volume. And the problem you're asked to solve here is find the volume of an object with a density of 15 grams per milliliter and a mass of 45 grams. Once again, we know we have a density here because we have a grams per milliliter unit. We know we have a mass here because we have grams. So let's look. We're trying to find the volume. We, that's the one we don't have, so we're going to cover it up in our density triangle and that leaves us with an M over D anytime we cross this line this horizontal line we are going to be dividing so our equation this time is volume the one we don't have equals mass divided by density and let's see what that looks like when we plug it into the equation here we have we show our work we have volume equals mass over density or mass divided by density and that is equal to 45 grams over 15 grams per milliliter and because we have similar units again in our equation we get to cancel those out so we'll cancel out the G and the G cancel those grams out and that leaves us with milliliters so 45 divided by 15 is 3 and what we'll have left after we cancel out the grams is milliliters only so we end up with 3 milliliters as our answer and we double check that 45 divided by 15 is 3, and our answer is in milliliters. We were trying to solve for volume. Milliliters is a unit of volume, so we've checked our work, and we know that this should be a correct answer.